Zombies Done Right. This is the perfect example of my opinion of Zombies Done Right. Let's check it out. Yako Garashi, School Live. Damn it, I'm thinking Love Live. School Live in the English. Let's check it out. Right away, I knew this series was going to be dark, but I wasn't expecting so much feels. Right from episode one, I was a mess. I mean, it really gets you right from episode one, because you know from watching this, there's spoilers alert. <laughs> So if you watch this, be ready for some spoilers. It's an emotional thing. Every episode, all 12 of them, damn it. <laughs> there isn't an episode that goes by where you don't feel, feel sad. Like, your heart pounding. Like, you, like oh my gosh. Like, you're like, <laughs> or, or, you know, something. <laughs> That's why it's really well done. Uh, right from episode one, uh, yeah, the way it ends, it's like, I knew, but at the same time, I still was, it's still just affecting me. I'm like, oh my gosh, like. Oh my gosh. Dear God, the endings freaking are beautiful. Make me f***ing tear up every time I hear them. So be especially the first one. That is such a sweet, beautiful song. Because if you know how it goes, when you see the characters going and they're walking together and you hear this beautiful song, it tears up because, you know, it's like because of that character and that one, you're just like, oh, oh, I can't watch this. There are a lot of times where I'm just like, oh my gosh. <laughs> the opening is the most catchiest piece of crap I've ever freaking heard in my life. It is super catchy, adorable catchier than hell and it's not what you expect from a uh, horror gory zombie thing there that's what was so good about this it's horror mixed in with the cuteness and it works so well in the opening is dear god this like zombie uh anime series or series in general and then you have an opening like this which is like cute and just like oh my gosh it is spectacular one of the best openings i've ever heard again it's cute girls doing cute things but then damn what the? The first episode, a nice introduction of the girls, and best girl in my opinion, Sakura Megumi, Megane. I'm gonna get teary at probably talking about her. Why did it have to go this way? But it makes sense for story. I mean, Megane. Anyway, and then throughout we have like moments of the series and we know like say Yuki, the main girl, she's adorable, s such a breath of fresh air, bubbly, perfect little go-getter attitude, just a joy, which again, as they all say like towards like the end, they tell her like part there where she's like, Megan, I'm, I'm useless, I can't do anything, I'm always a screw up. I, she's like, you can do something that no one else can do. And it's like that, that smile that cheers everyone up. You cheer everyone up, you make everyone happy. That's a really nice thing to say to someone, you know? I know there's a lot of people out there that are just so down on themselves. And it's like, in the end, just don't feel like you are worthless. I've never thought I was worthless in my life, but I know a lot of people who just feel like they're worthless and so down on themselves, and I tried my best to, like, help them up. And that's just something really nice to say to people. That was really... Damn, Megan eh? I'm tearing up... Damn it, Megan eh? <laughs> Anyway, uh, and that's what she does, and she's good at this. So you see her in this, and then you see how she is. She's, like, all happy, and you're sitting there meeting all the characters. And then in that first episode, she's all talking to Megan and all these people, and then going through class and living a regular school life, and at the very freaking end, she turns around and you see, like, she's talking to nobody. It's all in her head. Broken glass of there, broken, destroyed everything, blood everywhere. That's the zombie I break. You knew this was a thing with zombies. I knew this was that. But it still just kind of made my heart just kind of... <gasps> it still got me because I was like, oh my gosh. Just because of the setup. It was her and it's something... I, I didn't think it was going to just abruptly show us that, you know? <laughs> I knew it was going to reveal, but I mean... You made it look like it, this was the before, and then we're going to see what happens, but instead it's all in her head, and then you get the whole psychologicalness of this. Oh my gosh. I mean, the moment they reveal all that, and you're like, oh, this girl, I know things are going to, oh my gosh. <sighs> it's just, you know, and then throughout the series, when you see her, everything, she's escaping from reality. She's escaping from what has happened. She's trying to push it back out of her mind. And then she's making up all this stuff there, and she's talking to people who weren't there. Damn it, Megan A. And you just know, like, oh my gosh, this poor girl. I'm going to feel for her. She's going to have a breakdown. And when she does, I don't want to be there to see it. <laughs> so you're preparing yourself for, oh my gosh. And her friends are all there like, oh my gosh. Making her like, yeah, keep acting like this because we don't want you to. The happy good girl, let's keep it that way. And you felt, you, you felt for her. I mean, they're blocking just because, you know, eventually it's going to all hit and... Anyway, I'll let the other characters, shall we? Again, like I said, Megane, best girl, love you. Kind-hearted, caring, really cares about her students, really cares about people, will do whatever it takes. And I mean, 
Whatever it takes to keep them safe. She's beautiful, cute face, good outfit, loving, just caring, good natured person through out. When you hear about her, she's just a good person. She'd be perfect waifu because she is, you know, again, that nurturing caringness of her, and it's a good mother, you know, you want to have someone that's going to be a good mother to your kids. And that's why a lot of good, like, waifu status would be someone you can know could be like that. And again, why 2D, and then, and like, you know, like a lot of days out there, you're like, you want someone who doesn't care only for themselves. You want someone who will be good for your child and your children, and nurturing and caring like that. And that's what makes a good person, a good girl, a good waifu, in, in 2D and 3D. Honestly. So yeah, none of these, eh, you know, thoughts as they were. So that'd be like the only negative portion on here, just trying to talk about how good Megune really is. Mm. Uh, Yuki, again, I've already explained her, she is just awesome as hell. You have Harumi, purple hair, love those purple hair ones. Tough girl, love those tough girls. One Fang, the Fang Shon, love that. And uh, the unique outfit, and then the shovel. She kicks ass and fights with a shovel. And for me, some spoilers here, we made a short film back in 2013. Working on, made it full length, been working on that. Turned into a light novel at some point. I want to like write out and just get it out there and draw the character as a character of ours, Briar and Heather. They kick ass with shovels. So it's kind of neat to see girls with shovels fighting them. Like, ah, that's like my girls. But anyway. She's awesome, and again, with the characters, they all are distinctive, they're all their own selves, they're all unique, they're not the same. Own personalities, attitudes, even through their outfits, it's really neat, well done with the different personalities and takes on who these girls are. There's Yuri, again, she's kind of the, in a way she becomes the Megane of the group because she becomes like the mother, the caring, the nurturing person. She's very cute, pretty, she's got it all, she's got the one mole by the eye. Big tits, I mean, yeah. Then there's the newest introduction, Miki. She's rescued by these girls, Taromaru, basically. We'll talk about Taromaru in a second. Then joins them, you know, almost midway through the series. And then slowly bonds and becomes accepting of them, and then they accepting of her, and then she realizes what's meaningful in life and how much they mean, and they realize what is, you know, important to her and to them. So she becomes a really strong get out there character. And unfortunately at times when they first there, she's the first one to kind of realize is, hey, who is Yuki talking to when she brings up Megane and all this stuff there? Is she, does she know? And they're like, up, 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 bit. we had to keep her. And then she tries to say like, she wants to be like, no, we can't do this. I have to tell her. And then she realizes we have to in order to keep her happy and to keep us going. There's Taroma. It's a cute little dog. Taroma was awesome. And again... Anyway, I love that name, Toromaru. It's so cute. I love how they say Toromaru. But anyway, the girls, they all attend Meguri Gaoka High School. They're barricaded in now, obviously, because now we're zombies. Post-apocalyptic world, zombie outbreak, but the zombies, again, Yuki says about she likes school. Everyone likes school. That's why they stay here. The zombie students are all just, they, they don't go past the school. They stay in the schoolyards inside and out. They can't go through you because they just, all their memories and life, I guess, are there and it's important to them. So that's why they're, so they're kind of like, ugh, screw there. But the school, it turns out, is made into like a, like they kind of knew about this out outbreak that happened. So the school is like a facility, a place where they can withstand and like live okay and have like supplies, electricity, and there's a thing up there. That's why, like up on the roof, there's like the guard also up there and there's like the water supply and also there. It's all there. And then they later find out there's a, uh, place where they have like antidotes or whatever they can help like first before they start fully turning. Thanks to Megane leaving trails and hints and notes and uh, again with Megane, she is always there to protect. Like I said, she's there no matter what. Watching over them no matter what in every way she has helped them and watched over them and continue to and continues to. Which is beautiful about Megane. There they start the school life club. They're the members of the school life club. And uh, that's basically what this is. And they try to live like, hey, we're in school and here's the school life club. Even though, eh, out there is that and we can't tell Yuki about this. Aired in 2015. Uh, the manga still continues. I've showed off some of that and I had to because I knew the manga was continuing. And, like, and there's more story besides just this anime because it ends where it should continue in the manga. And I really wish they would animate this. There's rumors they're going to do a live action thing. And that sounds stupid. You're not going to get the same feel of the gritty, dark, zombie, blood and gore mixed in with cute anime moe girls. Because they're going to be real girls and it just won't work. So it's like, just give us another sequel to this. It, I've seen a lot of people really into this and give it major props and talk about how great it is in the manga is doing well because it's still going. So, I don't know. I just really wish, hey, give us more. But instead, like, this year we're getting something called, like, Zombie Land or whatever, which I'm like, what? And, like, it kind of looks like they're trying to do this. I'll give it a shot, but I don't think it's going to be 
like this. It's one of the best survival series out there, if not like the best. I think it's just so well done. And for zombies, right off the bat I'm going to tell you so you don't think I'm biased or anything like that, or to prove how bias isn't always true in everything, I am not a fan of zombie stuff at all. The Walking Dead is eh, especially since it's just going on and there's really just no. But I gave it a shot and I'm just like, no thank you. I'm not really a fan of anything zombie because they're all like the same Unless it truly, for me, just stands out as unique. For example, Return of the Living Dead, that's a good zombie movie, in my opinion. Fido, most people probably don't know, that's a good zombie movie, in my opinion. And then, uh, basically, a couple other ones here or there. And then this, this stands out because of one, it's like it's a zombie movie and Moe cuteness mixed together. It's like, how do you mix those? And if you do, how do you make up, like, mix them well and will it work? It does. That's what makes this so good and why I find it to be the best among zombie stuff, and it stands out among zombie stuff, and it's zombies done right, in my opinion. Hence the title and the whole point of this. Let's see. Slice of Life. Check. Psychological. Check. Horror. Check. Mystery. Check. Moe. Check. School. Check. Some edgy and fan service. Check. So, it has the checklist of, it's like a good anime. <laughs> Every episode, goosebumps, butterflies, misty-eyed, heart-sinking. Even if the episode ended with some kind of happiness to it, which is always good, and some good smile emotions, it was still just kind of, like again, either emotionally, like, sad happy, you know, that kind of sad happy, or even still, if it was happy, you were still sad or depressed or just emotionally wrecked by because you know what's coming next but it makes you feel good because of how the characters are each other how much they love each other and they really are friends and how much they care for Megane for Toromaru and how Megane really does every episode I'm just in a ball with Megane so uh spoilers right here like I said Megane does sacrifice everything she sacrifices her life to save these girls and uh again Yuki is talking to her and they're like hey what are we doing today and then it doesn't tell you at first, it hints throughout a few, the first, like, before the first half, and by the halfway mark, you basically realize. Like, I remember watching with, like, my best buddy, and within, like, a couple of episodes, just because it's one of those things where it's like, she's talking, and the way everyone else is acting around there, and how she is, I'm sitting there thinking, like, like, tears just went down my face, like, bleh, when I'm like, oh my gosh, she's dead. They're gonna reveal that she's dead. Not everything's made in head, but Megan A., is all in her head. Oh my gosh, I don't think I'm ever going to be ready for this. And I wasn't. I was a bawling mess. I hated it. And then the once you've officially knew or officially told, then like every time you saw her, you just... I got choked up every time seeing her. And what I wasn't expecting was Taromaru dying. <laughs> the cute, adorable little f bastard puppy. Towards the end, he gets bitten. And you can see him all right. like, oh no, now they got to kill Taromaru. Because it was hinted again, like the opening... Awesome opening. You see them all walking and there's a little silhouettes. But then you start not seeing Megan a silhouette, and then again, I'm like, huh, that again showing you like, yeah, you, we've, once we told you she's no longer there. And then Toromaru was walking with him all the time, and then Toromaru wasn't there anymore, I'm like, no! So yeah, Toromaru dies, but again, like Megan a, who was there to guide them and help them, Toromaru does in his last little bit effort, saves them and helps Yuki and helps Miki, who tries to bond the most with Toromaru the most. More spoilers, Kurumi gets bitten. And so you're thinking, all oh, towards the end, it's all built. I'm like, oh, they're going to kill our Purple Hill Shovel Tough Girl. They're all going to die anytime stuff there. <laughs> but anyway, they get the Anandos up there and save Kurumi. And then they try it on Taromaru. Taromaru looks like he's healing. So it's like, oh, he looks so cute and happy again. So they're all like, on Miki's lap. There you go. He's going to be good. He's going to be with us again. He gave him food and water. Miki's like, give him food. Give him water. And she purposely like, here you go. And then he looks over at her, smiles. That made it more emotional. I would have been okay when I knew he was a little zombie dog, and they would have just been like, I gotta do it. But to see him, like, live. And then look up at her and, mmm, like Megan A. Even when she was, she saves them, holds the door back, sacrifices herself, turns zombie. She's stuck in the little area where they gotta go to find the stuff there, the kits and all that stuff there, supplies, the military stuff there to help them through this outbreak and the antidote. She's stuck there wandering, a little thing of writing uh, during her last days before she fully turns. You can see, like, writing their names, saying they must live, whatever it takes, they must survive. I love you girls, and all that stuff there. So she was still protecting, guarding to the very end. And then her little angel, I guess, guiding Yuki to, for the ending, the finale, to 
get the student and say, hey, I know you all love school and it's where you want to be, but you have to go now. School's over, and then she tells them they all go back home. <laughs> so they can go off and go to college. So it's a nice little ending. They graduate. It's real sweet. Talk about how they are, their times together. They talk about Megan and Jerome Rue. The saviors, the heroes. I mean, so much in 12 episodes. They went through a lot of the manga. But, to me, that's why it's the best, why it deserves more seasons, why it deserves all the praise it gets, deserves high ratings. One of the things where I truly, truly, truly highly recommend. I can't express how well this series is. Well done, perfect. And I want to see where it continues, how it ends. 10 out of 10. For me, it makes Tech on Titan, My Hero Academia, even stuff I do really like, like Cowboy Bebop and stuff, kind of look like shit. This was truly done because it mixed the kawaii, the moe, the cute girls, the psychologicalness, the horror, the story-driven, character-driven development of everyone. The characters develop really nicely. The story develops really nicely. Good pacing, the music is really good, and just everything comes as perfectly made, in my opinion. And I just really want it to continue. Hopefully they'll do more of the anime, but at least we get the manga continuing, and I can enjoy that. <sighs> but damn it, Megane. Best girl, total waifu, beautiful, inside and out. Truly a good woman, really care for those kids, and she did to the end. So many touching up with her keys, the car, the bear, the mustache, when they put the balloons up and so they're saying we're all okay, and so they're, she's drawn in there with all them drawn, uh. But I think Miki, you know, really had probably the most of the development, which I really liked, how she went through, and then her friend Kay, which is really sweet to see the little thing at the end there, for her little final goodbye to her little friend. And now uh, she's making all these new friends and going off places. And, uh, uh. Everyone just really stays who they are, but they also, like, grow and mature and change and develop, again, really nicely. Rest in peace, Megane. Toronto. Mmm. Ooh. You knew it was coming. <laughs> you knew it. I'm, I, I'm kind of upset and glad that I kind of caught, like, oh, no, this is, like, he... the hints. <laughs> Damn it. But it's like, no way. And I was like, yeah. And then he got upset because his, like, little favorite was Megane because she's so awesome. I guess also a side note with the bias, what I meant was, it just shows I, I'm not a zombie fan, but I will check out certain things that have zombies in it, as long as it's unique and original. Just like, I may not be a superhero fan anymore, so that's why I don't like My Hero Academia or a lot of the Marvel movies more, but if it, there's one that does stand out and is unique, like say Ant-Man, I will check it out. Or Deadpool. If there's something else I don't like, like, oh, he's biased, he doesn't like that, so of course he doesn't like it. But I do give stuff a chance at least, and again, I will try something as long as I say like, hey, I'm not really into this stuff, but this one looks unique and different, and I'll give it a shot. Basically, yay to the unique and creative and quirky stuff there. Yay. What can I say? Zombies done right for once. Besides, like, the other movies I mentioned. <laughs> uh, so yeah, if you've seen it and you liked it, you're smart, awesome. If you've seen it and didn't like it, there's no hope for you. Uh, if you haven't seen it, or you're on the fence about it, watch it, read it, enjoy it. I'm telling you, it's so much of Gaku Garashi School Live. Damn it, School Live. It sounds like you should be saying it because I love Aliva. But anyway, School Live, really good anime series. One of the best, in my opinion. 10 out of 10. Beautifully done on every aspect. And it's one of those things, again, where I don't like zombie stuff, but it makes me appreciate it when it's done like this. I don't know what else I can say, but just, it is amazing. Worth checking out. It has to be a must-see. A must read. Just enjoy it. And again, it's one of those things where it's like, you're sad to see it end, but as Yuki said it best, it's like, you know you don't want good things to end, but they have to. It's that thing where all good things come to end, and then you should be happy that it ended because you at least got to experience it and you can have the memories and all that stuff there. It's one of this one of those things where it's like I'm sad to see it end, but it, it it ended and you at least you got to experience it and watch it. And there's so many things you wish you could just bring back, as a reference I'm gonna say, with the touch to bring it back. It's been nine years since the ending of Pushing Days, the greatest show to ever appear on television. And to this day I still still wish it would you know, there's all these talks about it coming back in some way or form, musical, comic book. All that stuff. Nine years later, and I still have hopes that we'll get some kind of thing. But at the same time, it's over. It was the beautiful thing. The most, the most, the greatest show that ever on television. Fact. Fact. Sorry.
You've never seen anything like it, and you'll never see anything like it ever again. That's Pushing Daisies, and to this day, it's a good thing that came to an end, and I'm glad that I got to experience it, and the memories are always there, and it is a beautiful show that I hope many people for years to come enjoy it. Just like this, and every other anime series, so you know, you're sad when your favorite show or manga and but just be happy that you got to you know be there and experience it i need to enjoy it and then you can also have that there and there forever as you move on to something else you can enjoy but then you can always look back on rewatch, reread, rethink it'll always be stuck in there that's what this anime series is gakugurashi it'll always be there and if it continues or not in anime form or when the manga finally ends i'm just glad that i got to Enjoy it and take part in that story. Beautiful anime all in all. Enjoy the things you like, I'll end with. So many people are embarrassed if they like anime or whatever, or manga or comics or something like that. Hey, if people can sit there and paint their whole bodies and beat people up and cuss and throw things and break things over a freaking sports team, you should not be embarrassed for liking anime. Especially anime like this. Or any anime. I know I may rest sometimes on certain animes, but hey, you like it, that's good for you. Just like, I like the stuff I like. I like what I like, and I'm glad I like what I like. I'm proud of it. I like what I like, don't like it, too bad. You like what you like, if I don't like it, too bad. Just enjoy it. Love anime. Keep it happening.